Once Fujian is commissioned, numbers will be our only advantage over their carrier force. Fujian, on the other hand, you're looking at an aircraft carrier that can provide its own airspace battle management capability uh, and its own potentially electronic warfare air defense suppression. In the secretive realm of global naval developments, a silent revolution is already underway, marked by the quiet hum of electromagnetic catapults on China's third aircraft carrier, the mighty Fujian. China showcases its military might by launching the country's third aircraft carrier Fujian, named after the province opposite Taiwan. The launch comes at a time when tensions over the island nation are simmering in the Indo-Pacific region. As analysts and military enthusiasts eagerly decode the implications of this technological leap, the Fujian emerges as a symbol of China's ambitious foray into advanced naval capabilities. A show of force by Beijing towards its rival powers at third aircraft carrier Friday. Friday, Carrier Fujian features a full-length flight deck with a catapult launch system. One thing is for certain, China's naval power isn't relying on just numbers anymore. Today's episode will cover China's first fully domestically designed aircraft carrier. Uh, Chinese strategic thought and naval doctrines, their main preoccupation was the defense of near waters. Chinese engineers are reportedly in the early stages of testing electromagnetic catapults on their third aircraft carrier, a development marking a significant stride in the nation's naval ship construction, dubbed the Fujian. After the Chinese province nearest to Taiwan, this carrier boasts a cutting-edge catapult-assisted takeoff barrier arrested recovery, a notable advancement from the ski jump-style launch systems used on the first two carriers. This CATOB air system promises quicker and more versatile aircraft launches, contributing to an enhanced operational capacity. In a recent video clip circulating on China's Weibo, a test vehicle was seen successfully launched from the Fujian's catapult, underscoring the carrier's technological leap. Now, imagine witnessing the thunderous roar as a test vehicle hurdles off the Fujian's deck, cutting through the air like an arrow. This leap in technology not only propels China's naval capabilities, but also raises eyebrows worldwide. How will this advancement influence global naval dynamics? A a crucial aspect of the Fujian CATOB air system is its capability to accommodate a broader range of aircraft with increased ammunition. This stands in stark contrast to its predecessors, Liaoming and Shandong, which relied on less sophisticated launch systems. The successful test, captured in a video supposedly taken from an overflying plane, marks a crucial milestone in the carrier's journey toward full operational status. Military analysts and enthusiasts alike eagerly anticipate the implications of this development, considering it a vital step for China's naval ambitions. As the Fujian paves the way for more advanced aircraft launches, one can't help but wonder how will this innovation impact not just China's military strategy, but the geopolitical landscape at large. Let's explore the potential ripple effects of this technological leap. The Fusion, also known as Type 003, weighs a staggering 80,000 tons and stands as China's first fully domestically designed aircraft carrier. What sets it apart is the integration of electromagnetic catapults and arresting devices, mirroring the technology found on U.S. aircraft carriers. This places China in a select group currently shared only by France and the United States, employing the CATOB air system. Notably, this catapult technology, known as Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, is a complex innovation, marking uncharted territory for China, as highlighted by Robert Farley, a senior lecturer at the University of Kentucky. Imagine the fusion as a symbol of China's maritime aspirations, a technological marvel that might reshape naval strategies. How does this catapult technology fit into China's broader vision for its navy? Let's delve into the significance of this carrier's unique features. Aircraft carriers hold a pivotal role in reflecting a nation's maritime ambitions, and China is no exception. The Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments CSBA, a U.S. think tank, suggests that China's carrier fleet could expand to five ships within the next decade. The Fujian, with its indigenous design and advanced technology, represents a notable stride in China's quest for naval supremacy. This development underscores the nation's commitment to building a robust naval force that can compete on a global scale. Now let's consider the broader implications. 
How might the expansion of China's carrier fleet influence regional dynamics? And what does it mean for global naval power shifts? While the Fujian is undeniably an impressive vessel, it's essential to note that China still lags behind the United States in little aspects. Farley emphasizes that despite its size and technological advancements, the Fujian is only about 80% as large as existing U.S. carriers. Additionally, being conventionally propelled rather than nuclear limits its range, endurance, and carrying capacity. The U.S. Navy currently boasts 11 aircraft carriers, predominantly large supercarriers, that outclass the Fujian in terms of size and capability for now. Envision the Fujian as the rising star on the naval stage, but how does it measure up against the behemoths of the U.S. Navy? What challenges does China face in narrowing the gap, and how might this impact the global balance of maritime power? Despite the Fujian's remarkable features, the road to full operational capability is still a lengthy one. The carrier, yet to embark on sea trials, faces a meticulous process that could take a year or more. Training to meet U.S. standards will be an extensive endeavor, likely spanning years, if not decades. The meticulousness of the People's Liberation Army PLA, in carrier operations training adds a layer of caution to the anticipation surrounding the Fujian. Commissioning may occur by 2025, but its true potential will be realized through gradual capacity-building efforts in the subsequent years. In recent years, China has rapidly ascended the ranks of global naval powers, positioning itself on the cusp of surpassing the United States in aircraft carrier capabilities. The crown jewel in China's maritime arsenal is now the formidable Fujian, also known as Type 003 as mentioned earlier, representing a significant leap forward in naval technology. The utilization of electromagnetic catapults on the Fujian a feature not yet fully realized by the U.S. Navy, underscores China's determination to outpace its competitors. As the Fujian undergoes meticulous testing and trials, it becomes increasingly apparent that China's naval ambitions are not merely symbolic but strategic. The 80,000-ton displacement of the Fujian places it in a league of its own, rivaling the scale of U.S. supercarriers. The incorporation of an advanced catapult-assisted takeoff barrier arrested recovery CATOBAR system signals a departure from traditional launch mechanisms, potentially allowing for more versatile and rapid aircraft deployment. Compared to the U.S. Navy's existing carriers, China's steady progress in aircraft carrier development and naval expansion hints at a broader shift in global global maritime dynamics. The nation's commitment to building a formidable fleet, coupled with its numerical advantage in terms of ships and submarines, challenges the long-standing dominance of the U.S. Navy. The Fujian, embodying the pinnacle of China's naval advancements, stands as a testament to the nation's meticulous approach and technological prowess. As China continues to close the gap and, in some aspects, surpass the United States in naval capabilities, the geopolitical balance on the high seas undergoes a transformation that will undoubtedly shape the future of global maritime power. While the Fujian represents a remarkable addition to China's naval capabilities, it's crucial to keep in mind that the PLA already boasts the world's largest navy by sheer numbers. With over 370 ships and submarines, the Chinese Navy surpasses the U.S. Navy's 293 vessels. This numerical advantage highlights China's commitment to building a formidable maritime force. As the Fujian progresses toward full operational status, it becomes a symbol not just of technological prowess but also of China's broader naval strategy. Picture the vast expanse of the Chinese Navy, a force to be reckoned with in terms of sheer numbers. How might this numerical advantage shape China's maritime influence, and what challenges could it pose to other naval powers? And China isn't just boasting numbers anymore. Their technology speaks for itself. With much about China's first fully domestically designed aircraft carrier, the enigmatic Fujian covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.